Internuclear ophthalmoplegia. Now, that's a mouthful, so for the rest of this video, I'm just going to call it INO. So let's talk about INO. Now, to explain the pathology of INO, we have to first understand the normal signaling pathway of eyes during lateral gaze. Lateral gaze, which can obviously be to the right or left side, but for today's video, let's just take lateral gaze looking to the left side to simplify what actually happens with the eyes and then to explain INO. Let's take these set of eyes drawn right here, and let's say they want to look to the left side. In a healthy person, this signaling cascade, which has to be in synchrony together, starts off with the left lateral rectus muscle on the left eye. It transmits down to the ipsilateral cranial nerve 6 nuclei. Then, because the right eye also needs to be in sync with the left eye's actions, the signal is transmitted from there to the contralateral opposite side MLF. From there, the MLF will transmit the signal up on the same side to the cranial nerve 3 and from cranial nerve 3 up to the medial rectus muscle on the right eye and it will turn to the left as well. This is in a healthy person. Now, when someone has INO, that last muscle, the medial rectus of the eye, cannot adduct and that right eye stays midline on lateral gaze. And that's what INO essentially is. INO I want to reiterate, is not any damage to any nerves or muscles in this cascade. The damage is specifically from the MLF not working. And because the MLF is in the middle of that cascade, if MLF doesn't work, that signal cannot transmit completely through. Therefore, in INO, we have a functioning eye and a non-functioning eye. And the non-functioning eye is obviously the eye that cannot adduct. So the functioning eye, which in our example is the left eye looking to the left works. However, it can present with a nystagmus. And the non-functioning eye, which is the right eye looking to the left, but it can't do it because it doesn't work. And that's because of the MLF damage, which is on the same side as the non-functioning eye. And that's important. Now, before we end this video, I've also attached a short clip of a woman who has this exact same problem. Her right eye cannot adduct, as you can see. But her left eye works, and that's the functioning eye.